here 110 becomes 100 rupees one is over value one is under value both have been corrected there was a practice in the company though it is 100% they will say only 90% it's a practice of valuing the stock at 10% less claim has been made 52000 whether the 52000 is going to pay by insurance company depends upon the average clerk Hello my dear student, I am Dr. B.S. Subramanya, called by name Dr. B.S.S., Professor in Commerce and Management, Vidyashram First Aid College, a Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. Today, in this session, I am going to handle Financial Accounting 2, Second Semester Unit 2, Session 2, in favor of Fire Insurance Clan. This is a question which is going to ask only for 10 marks. In the last session, we already solved one problem. This session, we are going to solve two problems about the fire insurance claim. So, we move on to problem now. A fire occurred in the premise of the Vinod Company Media on 4th March 2021. All the stocks, with the exception of rupees 13,000, were destroyed by fire. Only 13,000 has been left out from the following figures ascertain the loss suffered by the company. Stock on 1 1 2020 Stock on 31 December 66,000. Purchases during the year 4,70,000. Sales during the year is 6 lakh. Purchases up to the date of fire is 2,30,000. Sales up to the day of fire is 3 lakh. Calculate the amount of insurance claim. There was a practice in the company to value the stock at cost less 10%. So, there was a practice in the company, though it is 100%, they will say only 90%. It's a practice of valuing the stock at 10% less. But they changed this practice and valued the stock on 31 December 2020 at cost price. Now, they changed the practice to make the original figure. Previously, it was 100 rupees. They are saying 90 rupees. Now, it has changed the practice. It was 90 rupees made to 100 rupees. The amount of the policy was rupees 40,000 and claim was subject to an average class. Trading account of Vinod Company for the year 34 December 2020. Opening stock 36,000 which belongs to 90%. Now it raised to 100%. So the original value was 40,000. So previously it was 40,000. They are showing only 36,000. We will come back to original figure of 40,000. Purchases during the year is 4,70,000. Sales during the year is 6 lakh. Then here your closing stock was value 100 by 110 because it was raised at percent 110 raise raised the 110, 100 plus 10. Come back to origin fee. 100, 100 divided by 110 is 66,000. That is 60,000 real value. Totally 6 lakh 60,000. Difference of gross profit is 1 lakh. 50,000. So previously is undervaluation. This is called overvaluation. Come back to original figure 90 becomes 100. Here 110 becomes 100 rupees. One is overvalue, one is undervalue. Both have been corrected. So move on to next one. Here memorandum trading account. The here percentage of gross profit on sales will be. So gross profit divided by sales into 100. It is 25 percent percentage of gross profit on sale. Gross profit is 150,000. Come back to second figure now. Understand? Your gross profit is 150,000 divided by sale is 6 lakh into 100 is 25 percent. Come back here. We have to do it up to the date of file. Memorandum trading account up to the on up to fourth part. The closing stock becomes the opening stock. During the year, the purchase is 2 lakh 30,000 and the sales is 3 lakh. There is no closing stock, but we have put a gross profit. Gross profit, how much percentage? 25% on sale. So this is 25% of 3 lakh is 75,000. This is 25% on rupees 3 lakh. Uh, it works 75,000, difference is 65,000. Then here we add the figure, there was no closing stock. This GP is 75,000. If we bring out the difference, difference is 65,000. Then value of stock destroyed, closing stock on the date of fire is minus solvage. 
your closing stock is 65,000, salvage value is 13,000, difference is 52,000, so much have been saved. So statement of claim, value of stock in destroyed, into value of insurance, but because average class has been applied here, value of stock destroyed, value of insurance policy divided by value of stock on the date of five. Even here is 52,000, your insurance policy is 40,000. On the date of five, there was 65,000. Claims have been made only to the extent of 32,000. Though it is 52,000, claims can be made only to the extent of proportionate to the extent of 32,000. I think you understand the closing stock of this become the opening stock for the next session. We have got a purchase during the year. There was a sales here. There is no closing stock. We know that gross profit is twenty five percent on rupees three lakh. It works out seventy five thousand. If we add the figure, it is three lakh sixty five thousand rupees. If we bring out the difference, difference is sixty five thousand. That is the balancing figure stock on the date of five. Out of sixty-five thousand, how much is saved? Thirteen thousand. How much claim has been made? Fifty-two thousand. Whether the fifty-two thousand is going to pay by insurance company depends upon the average class. As per the average class, you claim made fifty-two thousand, but your policy amount is forty-two thousand. On the date of fire, it was sixty-five thousand. Only the insurance company is going to pay thirty-two thousand to the extent of stock destroyed. Whatever the policy are made, you made a policy only to the extent of thirty thousand. They can't claim fifty-two thousand. So your policy is only forty thousand. They pay only to the extent of thirty-two thousand. Proportionate we are going to take. Then move on to second problem now. A fire occurred in the premises of the Goodhope Limited on twenty-fifth May two thousand twenty-two. The company has taken out a fire insurance policy for rupees fifty thousand. Covering its stock in trade, and the policy was subject to an average class. This is important. From the following particulars, a certain time the claim to be large. So this is a problem. Stock on first January twenty one is forty five thousand. Purchases during the year is one lakh thirty two thousand. Return on inward is two thousand five hundred. Stock on thirty first December is two thousand twenty sixty three thousand. Sales for the year is two lakh five thousand. Return inward during the year is five thousand. Purchase from one month to date of fire is forty two thousand. Sales to the date of fire is fifty thousand five hundred. Return inwards from one month is thousand five hundred. Value of stock saved is ten thousand. Stocks are valued at cost less ten percent. You know what? In this case, the gross profit ratio is not given. Hence, it is necessary to prepare a trading account for the previous year. The firm has value because there is no gross value ten percent below the cost price. So to find out the correct percentage of gross profit on sale, both opening stock and closing stock adjusted as follow. Let the cost price be hundred. The firm is valued at ninety. Therefore, to come back to original figure, hundred by ninety sixty three thousand is seventy thousand. So to opening stock is fifty thousand. Purchases during the year is. One lakh thirty-two five hundred. Out of that, how much return? Two thousand five hundred. The balance is one lakh thirty thousand. Sales during the year is two lakh five thousand. How much return? Sales return is five thousand. It is two lakh is there, and your closing stock is nine. Though they are showing sixty for ninety rupees, the original value is hundred. For sixty-three thousand, it is seventy thousand. Your gross profit is ninety thousand. Come back the percentage of gross profit and sale. What is the formula? Gross profit divided by sales into hundred. So ninety thousand divided by two lakh into hundred. It works out forty-five percent. Then the closing stock of this become the opening stock for next session to the date of five. So here. Your opening stock becomes seventy thousand. Purchase to the date of fire is forty two thousand. Your sales is fifty thousand five hundred. Out of that, return is thousand five hundred. It is forty nine thousand. Your gross profit is forty five percent on sale. Forty five percent of forty nine thousand. It works out twenty two thousand fifty. If we add the figure, it will come out one lakh thirty four thousand fifteen. The difference is eighty five thousand fifty. Is the closing stock. Are the stock available on the date of file? Out of eighty-five thousand, how much close saved is ten thousand? 
10,000. The balance is 75,050. Claim to be large with the insurance company. Value of stock destroyed into value of insurance policy. Value of the stock on the date of file. It is 75,050 into 50,000 divided by 85. The claim has been made only to the extent of 44,121. So repeat that. Your opening stock value, though it is ninety uh, rupees today, it is hundred forty-five in fifty thousand. Purchase is one lakh thirty-two five hundred. Out of return is two thousand five hundred. If you deduct one lakh thirty thousand, your sale is two lakh five thousand. Return inward is five thousand. It is two lakh rupees. Closing stock is sixty-three thousand. Ninety becomes hundred for sixty. It is seventy thousand. So your gross profit is ninety thousand because two lakh seventy thousand. Then you have to apply the that percent rate of gross profit. What is formula? Gross profit divided by sales into a hundred ninety thousand divided by two lakh into hundred. It works of forty five percent. We'll move on to the closing stock becomes the opening stock. Purchase during the year is forty two thousand. Sales during the year to the date of fire is fifty thousand five hundred. Out of that, how much return? Thousand five hundred. Balance is forty nine thousand. Then gross profit is forty five percent of sales. Forty nine thousand is twenty two fifteen. If you add this, no one lakh thirty four thousand fifteen. If you take it, is eighty five thousand fifteen. Out of eighty five thousand fifty, the the salvage totally is work out. Totally salvage is ten uh, thousand. It becomes seventy five thousand fifty. Claim to be large with the insurance company. Value of stock destroyed into value of insurance policy. Then value of the stock on the date of file. This is value on the date of file is that is actually eighty-five thousand fifty. But you claim has been made only seventy-five thousand fifty. But your insurance policy only fifty. The proportion amount is paid by company. This is your average claim. So stock on the date of file is eighty-five thousand fifty. But your claim has been made only seventy five fifty because ten thousand is saved. Your insurance policy is fifty thousand, so the insurance company is going to pay only to the extent of forty four thousand one twenty one. Hope you understand this. As in this session, I have solved about the two problem, so it will come for only ten marks. Is there a very easy problem? They are going to ask. Only you must understand. You have to prepare. On trading account, if the stock destroyed is two thousand twenty-one, you have to prepare a trading account for the year two thousand twenty and find out the gross profit. Then apply that that formula, the rate of gross profit, gross profit divided by sales into a hundred. Find out the percentage. The closing stock of the last year become the opening for next year. Purchase they will give, sales they give, but they won't give the closing stock. So you have to take the percentage. So percentage is nothing but GP on sale. You find out at the debit side, whatever the difference comes, that is stock on the date of file. Out of stock on the date of file, whatever the amount has been left of salvage, that should be left of, that should be calculated. Then claim has been made. The loss on the date of file multiplied by policy amount divided by value of the stock on the date of file. That is a claim we can make as per the average class. How it is? Stock on the date of file minus salvage. You find out. Once you find out, apply the formula. Whatever the amount available multiplied by that is the policy amount divided by stock on the date of file. That proportion amount will be paid by insurance company for the accident which took place. This is the your average class you are going to do. So first you have to prepare the. If you take the if the accident takes place in two thousand twenty one, you have to prepare trading account of two thousand twenty and find out the gross profit. What's the problem? Rate of gross profit is gross profit divided by sales into hundred. Same percentage we are going to apply in the to the date of file. The closing stock of last year become the opening stock for the next year. Then opening stock. Purchase they will give, sales they will give. Then you have to find there is no closing stock. GP on the sale will get the GP. Add the debit side. Whatever the difference come, that is the stock on the date of file. Out of stock on the date of file, whatever the salvage is, that should be deducted. Difference is called claim. Then apply the average class. That is amount of claim into policy amount divided by stock on the date of file so whatever the answer come that is a claim made by the company to insurance come we have been made so much claim
we are going to pay the particular action plane. So hope you understand. It's a very easy problem. They are going to ask for 10 marks. Be the student. This is a good problem and easy to score. Goodbye. I hope you understand this problem. This is already last, last session. We all, I told explanation with the problem. This session I solved about the two problems. Hope you understand. We'll meet in next class with another chapter called consignment. Till then, goodbye. Meet in the next class.